Hello everybody, welcome back to the build. Today we'll be putting together the rear spar of the horizontal stabilizer. And in just a few moments, I'll be driving the, my first ever Clico, signifying the beginning of building my airplane. And what an exciting moment that was. So what you're seeing here in blue is the actual spar, and in silver are the stiffeners for the spar. What the purpose of a stiffener is, is just to give that spar a little bit of extra rigidity. You may see me grinding down on some of that stiffener with the grinding wheel. That grinding wheel is not your traditional stone grinding wheel. It's a Scotch-Brite grinding wheel. And it's almost like your dish sponge, the rough side of your dish, dish sponge. All that does is just takes the edge off of whatever metal product that you put across that scotch bright wheel. And the reason I'm taking the edge down is because even though Vans does a great job at fabricating all these parts, they do tend to have some harsh edges on them. And you want to take those harsh edges down just in case these parts come into contact with each other. You don't want them to chafe. Also, Harsh edges, such as sharp corners, could be the pos uh, possible starting points of stress fractures or cracks on the airframe. And you definitely don't want that. You want to round those edges off just a little bit so that those edges don't start forming cracks. One thing I'd like to point out is Vans does an amazing job on their instructions. It's a very simple linear design similar to that of building your own Legos when you were a child. They're very easy to follow, very simple to read. Anyone can do this, truthfully anybody. I've had zero aviation mechanic experience and I'm putting together my own airplane. And it's amazing. And the only way I can do that is because Vans made such an amazing product and put together amazing instructions. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to be drilling holes in the spar. Vans fabricates these parts and they already have all these holes pre-drilled. All you do is align these holes, insert the Clecos like I have, and all you're doing here with the drill is just ever so slightly stepping up those holes and making sure that they're the proper size. Some of them come in just a little bit short and they just need to be stepped up just a little bit. And this is called match drilling or final drilling. Just got to make sure you get all the holes, step them up to the right size, and then continue on your merry way. Here I'm pulling out the hinge brackets for the elevator attachment points. And I'm using the expanded blueprint uh, to give me a big picture of where these hinge brackets are supposed to go. These expanded blueprints are really amazing. They can You can actually see what you're trying to build on these expanded blueprints and they're really great detail and they give you a really good big picture show of what you're trying to put together.
So here I'm using a pneumatic rivet squeezer. The traditional way of handling rivets was using a pneumatic air gun, which had a hammering motion, and then you had to buck the rivet. It was very hard to do it with one hand. So this tool allows you to hold the part in one hand and squeeze the rivet to its final size with the other. The only downside to this is that you have to get the rivet squeezer adjusted just right. So what you see me doing here is squeezing the rivet and testing the rivet to make sure that it's squeezed properly. And if it's under squeezed, I keep adjusting that pneumatic squeezer just a little bit further until it tests properly. And then I go and squeeze all the rivets around this hinge uh, with a bearing in it. Just a friendly reminder, if you use my builder number down in the description below, when you order your kit off of Vans, Vans will send me $100 at no cost to you. That's just a way you can support me in making these videos. Also, if you wouldn't mind, hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified every time I post a new video. And if you like the video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Also, if you have any other tips and tricks that you want to share, leave those in the comments section below. So this is where I'm going to end the video for today. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And remember, if I can do it, you guys definitely can do it. Get out there, build your airplane, share your experiences, make that dream of flying a reality.